and this way we found uh, a flight from Milan to Hawaii for only 400 euros. Uh, this is my best travel hack that I can give you. This is not an ad. Hey everyone and welcome back to Monica's Travels. Today I will do my first ever Q&A in a video which is pretty exciting. I asked you on Instagram, on my post uh, and in the story to ask me questions. So here we are. I will try to answer to all of them. I have some questions from other stories uh, that I put in another days. Uh, so I will try to answer those too. Uh, there are quite some questions. I mean uh, a lot of questions. Uh, more than I expected, so um, I will probably do two videos. Also, I'm currently in Seychelles, as you can see behind me, it is very, very beautiful here, I love it. Um, also, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is the best and the only way you can support me for now. Just make sure you subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, now, let's get started with the questions. So the first question is, what is uh, my favorite country? Uh, this is such a difficult question because uh, out of 41 countries, uh, I liked almost all of them. Uh, all of them have something special or uh, something that uh, I remind uh, that I don't know uh, impressed me and so on. So it's pretty hard to choose, but. I will tell you, uh, let's say, my three favorite countries, because one is just too hard. So, um, Iceland is for sure among my favorite countries. Uh, and then um, there is the Philippines for uh, the landscape, for the people, for everything, for the prices. I love the Philippines. And then my third favorite country, um, I need to think about it because there are so many. Uh, I think um, my third favorite country must be Greece, probably Greece. Um, not because it impressed me incredibly much like Iceland, but because uh, the people were so nice, Greece has uh, some beaches that are so, so beautiful, uh, the prices are very good, uh, it's not too expensive and you also have lots of history, you have everything in Greece, you have uh, sea, you have mountains, you have history, you have very kind people, hospitality, good prices, you have everything in Greece. <laughs> the next one is not really a question. Um, Someone says uh, that I am so cute. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, another question, uh, do you want to travel solo? Uh, people that uh, have been following me for quite some time know that I never uh, try traveled solo. Uh, it's something uh, that uh, I wanted to do some uh, time ago, before meeting my fiance, uh, I wanted to try to, uh, to travel solo, but right now I don't want to do that anymore because um, I don't know. Um, I am happy like this, I am happy traveling with my fiance or maybe with some friend or my brother. I don't really want to try for now traveling solo because I am getting, I, I got used to having someone to talk to constantly while on my travels and someone to be there uh, with me, to someone to share uh, my memories with and so on, so uh, it may me it may be only my personal opinion only, but if you want to travel solo that uh, could be an amazing experience for you. I've heard so many people traveling solo and uh, them saying that it was a life-changing experience so feel free to travel solo if you want to. Um, I've heard so many great things about it and if I don't want to it doesn't mean it's uh, something bad. Uh, it's just that I got used to traveling with someone else so this is what I will uh, want to keep on doing. Um, someone else asks me, hi, how are you? Uh, I'm doing uh, great. Uh, it's 
so hot here in the Seychelles. Uh, <laughs> But uh, other than uh, that, I am doing good. Uh, I miss home a little bit, but uh, I'm not sad, I'm not angry, I'm very relaxed here. This accommodation is awesome, I think this is the most beautiful accommodation I've ever been to, so yep, I'm doing good. Uh, another question is um, next trip. Uh, if uh, by next trip you also take in consideration this one, then my next trip is to Rome. When we come back in Europe from Seychelles, we uh, go from Seychelles to Rome. And we are staying there for six nights um, at my aunt. And I will uh, explore with my fiance Rome. He has never been to Rome, so he um, it will be Everything, everything will be new for him, but I've been to Rome three times, so uh, for me it's not something new. I stayed a lot in Rome in the past with my family uh, at uh, my aunt. Uh, so we are staying for six nights and exploring everything we can. Uh, I will probably make videos about that too, so subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of that. Other than my next trip to Rome, uh, honestly, we don't have anything planned right now uh, like I want to travel with one of my best friends uh, she, uh, she asked me if uh, we want to travel as two couples somewhere but uh, we haven't planned anything yet so uh, it's still pending let's say we don't know where we will go so uh, we'll have to think about that uh, next question is have you ever traveled alone uh, I've, uh, all, I've already answered this, uh, no, I've never traveled alone. Um, as per your nature, you love to travel to different countries. Do you have any desire to visit uh, India? Uh, yes, I would like to visit India in the future, uh, but I'm not uh, yet sure when. Uh, with uh, the Covid uh, restrictions, I really avoided going outside Europe, so uh, here in Seychelles, it's my first time going outside Europe in two years, so I don't know when our next trip outside Europe will be, and anyways, I want to visit India in the future. I've heard that there are so many places to explore, so many things to see, so many things to experience, so it's uh, on my bucket list, yes. The next question is, who takes all these magnificent photos and videos for you? And uh, I will say for this question who asked and it was uh, my magnificent fiancé who did this magnificent photos and videos. Uh, he asked me this question uh, because he's modest <laughs> uh, and yes, he is the one who takes all my uh, photos and videos. <laughs> what is your favorite food? I don't have one specific favorite food but I have uh, more. So I love fruits. I love pizza, lasagna, um, sushi, I like very much sushi uh, and these are I think mostly my favorite foods. There are some Romanian foods that I really enjoy too, like some soups uh, and something that we in Romania call salmale. Uh, I love it, it's so good. Um, how to find cheap flights? So my biggest uh, at the airport. I don't know if you are hearing the airplane, but anyways, uh, my best advice is to go on Facebook and search for uh, the following pages. Secret Flying, uh, Dino uh, the Adventures, I think, uh, I am not sure, Dino the... Uh, I will leave it on the screen because I don't really remember, um, and if... Uh, I remember anything else when editing this video, I will leave it uh, on the screen here. So go on Facebook like them, they will find cheap flights for you from anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world. And this way we found uh, flights from Milan to Hawaii for only 400 euros. Uh, this is my best travel hack that I can give you, this is not an ad. They are just finding cheap flights for you and then you go to the 
airplane site and book for yourself. Uh, they are not related to to the booking. Other than that, you can go on Google Flights and type your uh, airport, and then uh, you can put any destination you want and see a table of uh, lots of dates and the prices for each date and so on. So this will be. Uh, really useful. Um, some people use Skyscanner, the same as for Google Flights, so you can save lots of money like that. Uh, you need to be flexible with your dates, so if you're not flexible with your dates, it's uh, very hard to find a good flight because if you find, uh, if you are looking on a specific date for flights, it could be much, much cheaper in two days than that specific day. So if you are flexible, it will be much, much easier. Um, another thing is that a lot of flights are cheaper when it's not in the season. So if you don't really want to travel in the season, you may fly, uh, you may uh, find flights much, much uh, cheaper than during season time. And this works for hotels too. <laughs> Okay, and I will answer to one more question before uh, closing this video and I will continue with the questions in the next video because uh, it's already getting a little bit too long, uh, this video. Uh, the next video <laughs> could be a bit longer than this one because I still have many questions left. So please subscribe to make sure you don't miss uh, the next video and the next videos. Actually, I am having so many videos. Uh, to share with you from Europe, from Romania, from Seychelles, from uh, so many places. I have so many videos to edit uh, and I will post all of them. Uh, so, uh, next question, how do you afford to travel? Um, I am uh, a budget traveler and this is how I afford traveling. I'm not going uh, constantly on uh, four or five star hotels, all inclusive. I'm not booking through travel agencies because that is much much more expensive I am doing all do-it-yourself uh, I am uh, doing uh, the entire trip myself from flights to accommodations to activities to car rental to everything uh, and this saves me a lot lot of money um, and I usually I, and I, love, I stay a lot in Airbnbs for example in Asia we stay in private rooms to in Dubai, uh, we stayed in private room, and this uh, saved us some money. Uh, another thing that I do is I don't eat a lot in uh, in restaurants. I don't go out to eat a lot. I also cook in my travels because why not? I mean, if it's too expensive, for example, here in Seychelles, I didn't eat that much at restaurants because it's very expensive, and I don't think it's worth it. I ate sometimes. Uh, to travel, uh, to to try new food, to try local food, but other than that, I won't go out every day to eat because that will be a huge cost added to the to the final cost of the trip. Uh, so uh, other than that, I just try to get to not get uh, into scams. I try to avoid, for example, taxis, if not necessary. I uh, use public transport like buses, uh, metros and so on. So this, um, all of these things uh, cut down a lot of costs. Um, I do exceptions though, for example, the accommodation was pretty expensive, but it's just an exception, it's from time to time, to time so... Um, it's not that bad if you don't do it in all the trips. Uh, anyways, I will stop the video now and I will continue in another video that I will share probably next week. Uh, anyways, please don't forget to like this video if you find uh, what I'm saying useful and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it would help me a lot. Uh, and it would make me <laughs> very happy, I will keep on doing videos if I know that uh, you guys appreciate them. Um, Anyways, I wish you have a great day, a great week, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!